Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm so glad you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And today the message is about spirits, evil spirits. And so if you brought your Bibles today, please turn to the book of Matthew chapter 12. And Jesus tells us, starting in verse 43, When an unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Then he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, finds it empty, swept, and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. So shall also be with this wicked generation. And so, brothers and sisters, we know we're in a wicked generation. And many people are walking around with evil spirits in them. And they don't even know it. You don't know it. They think they're normal, but they're not. You know, if you go after lust, God will give you lust. In other words, you go after that evil spirit, God will allow you to have that evil spirit. In the book of 1 Samuel 16, 14, reading the King James Version, it reads, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. You see, from the Lord, an evil spirit troubled Saul. And anyone who has an evil spirit in them, they do not have peace. That they do know. Because that evil spirit is wrestling with their spirit. And sometimes they can be normal and speak very kindly. And then that evil spirit will come in. And you go, whoa, is that the same person? It is the same person, but two different spirits in there dwelling in his home, in his body. Do you understand? The Bible is the truth, and this is the gospel. And this is Jesus' gospel speaking to you, brothers and sisters, and to me. We need to be aware that there's evil spirits out there. And you need to keep that house clean. Now let's look at another scripture Talking about evil spirits, turn with me to the book of Daniel, chapter 4. And to lay the stage, God has allowed the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, to essentially take over the world. He's in control of everything. But God allowed him to have that honor and that position, but he gets puffed up with pride. Don't let pride get in the way of you and the Lord, brothers and sisters. Remember, we need to be meek as a child to make it to heaven. So Nebuchadnezzar gets very, very puffed up with pride. And we read in verse 30, the king spoke saying, is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling in my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty. Whoa. Well, God is not happy with him. And so now let's turn over to verse 33. That very hour the word was fulfilled concerning Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men and ate grass like oxen. His body was wet with dew of heaven till his hair had grown like eagle feathers and his nails like bird claws. You see, brothers and sisters, he got filled with evil spirits. Spirits, plural. Yes. You know, everyone's heard of serial killers. They have multiple spirits in them. They can have seven spirits in them. Remember, we read where when the evil spirit leaves and he comes back, he brings seven worse spirits with him and it's worse for that man than it was from the beginning. 
if the Holy Spirit is inside of you, Jesus is inside of you, he has delivered you, cast out that evil spirit that you were born with and filled you with the Holy Spirit, no other evil spirits can come in. It's only until someone turns his back on God that God will turn his back on you. And that's when these evil spirits can come in. So never turn your back on God. Continue to walk in obedience. Continue pleasing God and doing his will. And you can never be harmed by anything in the world, including the devil, because Jesus is inside of you. And that is stronger than anything in the world, including the devil. So brothers and sisters, always remember to keep your mind on the Lord and never turn your back on God. And if you find yourself, you're listening to this message and you know that you're struggling. Some people that have an evil spirit in them, a spirit of lust, will look at men and women as if they were naked. That's not normal, brothers and sisters. No. So if that's you, you are filled with an evil spirit, at least one, maybe more than one. But here, Nebuchadnezzar has seven evil spirits in him, and he has them for seven years. But God delivers him. He delivers him out of this bondage and he can, he can deliver you. But you have to open your door. You have to open your heart to God and be willing to change, make the proper changes to obey our Lord and Savior. And once you have made changes worthy to receive the Holy Spirit and be delivered, he will deliver you out of that bondage and fill you up with the Holy Spirit. We'll keep reading to find out what happens to Nebuchadnezzar. In verse 34, And at the end of the time I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven, and my understanding returned to me, and I blessed the Most High and praised and honored him who lives forever. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. And his kingdom is from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. He does according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. No one restrains his hand or says to him, What have you done? You see, Nebuchadnezzar humbled himself to the Lord and knows that no one can say to God, why have you made me this way? Why have you filled me with the evil spirit like you did King Saul? It's because if that's you, you have turned your back on God. And God will turn his back on you. And the devil is leaking everywhere to get into somebody's body so that they can have eternal damnation with the devil himself. But God doesn't want that. He wants to save your soul. God can deliver anyone from what they're going through, no matter what it is. But you have to open up to Jesus and you have to clean that house of yours so he can come in and keep it clean so he stays. Because if you turn your back on him, he will turn his back on you. And that is total destruction of the soul. So brothers and sisters, continue your walk with Jesus. Emulate Jesus every day of your life. And be ready when he comes at your best behavior, not your worst. Amen? Amen.